Texas family is asking for help finding the person who killed 34-year-old Arnold Pena. They say that he made a mistake that maybe anybody could have made when he got into a car thinking that was his ride. Our Robbie Owens spoke with his family today. She's joining us live from Carrollton with their story. Robbie? Well, Doug, as police release new evidence today, relatives are pleading with anyone who knows this man to come forward, saying their happy, positive son and brother didn't deserve to be stabbed to death on this street. He was a really sweet guy, a really happy guy. He always won everybody be together. Grieving relatives say Arnold Pena loved his family, soccer, and was always ready to have fun. One of his saying was, palas que sea. Or if we were doing something, he would say, pilas, let's do this. He was always like the soul of everything. Benilla had been enjoying dinner with his cousins at a Carrollton restaurant when he called for a ride-sharing service. That was after midnight on Sunday, July 31st. But he and his girlfriend realized too late that the car that pulled over was driven by an imposter. This was not a Lyft driver. This was not an Uber driver. This was someone taking advantage of people trying to do the right thing. Surveillance cameras positioned nearby captured these images of the white four-door sedan, and police produced this sketch of the suspect. The couple was not robbed, but the imposter asked for payment before an argument ended with Benia dead in the street. Now the community is being warned. He's willing to kill, so I'd, I'd say that's pretty dangerous, and we need to find him. We don't know if he's done this before. We do not know if he's going to do it again. If you see him, please call immediately because he's a threat to all your sons and your daughters. In addition to looking for this man, police are asking the community to listen how he, to how he speaks as well, especially those who speak Spanish in the Hispanic community, because that witness told peace that this man spoke with a coastal Hispanic accent, perhaps coming from Puerto Rico or Cuba. Reporting live in Carrollton, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.